Uh, Ruben Tisch, the lantern. Not many center backs wake up thinking they're going to score a brace in a cup game, let alone any other time. How are you feeling right now with your performance? And, and just talk us through the goals if you can. Yeah. Um, so, like you said, uh, being a center back, you don't expect to score a lot of goals, um, let alone two in one game. So um, it was definitely good to get on the score sheet. And um, yeah, uh, the first goal, uh, Alonzo whipped in a good ball and I was able to just get free and, and rise and um, head at home. So, and then the second one, uh, I think it was Alonzo again, played another good ball in, and Wyatt was able to put a, a good flick on it for me to just tap it in. So, um, like I said, as, as a center back, it's always good to um, get on the score sheet. Adlan, Bashi Dravel, you've got minutes next to Amsberg, both in MLS Next Pro and tonight. He even assisted your second goal, as you said. What have you learned from playing alongside him? Uh, yeah, he, uh, Wyatt's an experienced guy, and he's been in the league for a, uh, a while now. And um, I, I try to just learn off him as much as I can, as, as well as the other uh, center backs on the team, because um, they have a lot of experience in the pro game. So um, I try to learn from as much as I can, because um, uh, the more I learn, the, the more I can improve. So. Hey, Kendall, Joe Chats on Tap Sports. Uh, hey, congrats, man. Uh, rumor has it, uh, through confirmed sources of your mom, that uh, there was some sobbing going on in the Burks <laughs> household during this game. I'm curious, have you checked your phone? And uh, <laughs> who do you think was the most emotional about uh, your performance today? <laughs> um, I haven't checked my phone yet. But um, yeah, my mom, my mom gets pretty emotional sometimes when uh, big events happen. Um, but yeah, she gets pretty excited. So uh, I'll give, you a, give her a call after this. And Say, say say what's up to her. So, <laughs> had to have been uh, exciting to be placed in the uh, Carol Anastasov last word on sports. By the way, uh, had to have been a great opportunity to be placed in the starting lineup for today, even if it is a game where you're favored to win, expected. Uh, how did that factor in? Was there any pressure? Obviously, the favorites, but an opportunity to show what you have, an opportunity to put your game on display for the coaching staff. Yeah, um, anytime you step on the field, it's a chance to, to prove yourself and um, to prove yourself against opponent. doesn't matter the opponent. Um, um, today, we obviously, it's a, it's a big tournament for us. A big um, Open Cup is huge for the Chicago Fire, and we talk about it in the, in the locker room all the time. Um, it's something that we want to win and something that we think we can win, um, and this is a, the first step of, of doing that. So um, whenever we step on the field, we want to compete, and um, I, think, I think we did get a good job of that today. So. All right, a bit more existential, Kendall, if I may. Uh, a performance like tonight, after what's been a tough start to 2023 for you, uh, you've gone through changes with the team. You came over after being offered the U23 with Nottingham Forest. Does a performance like tonight help uh, reassure you that you made the right decision with your career to come to Chicago in 2022? Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, since I've been here, I've been uh, really happy, and I feel like I've been improving. Um, each each day, and I think that's the the biggest thing for me is to to continue to improve. And um, being in the starting eleven today, obviously, is is um, a good confidence booster, even if it is a, just an, uh, a U.S. Open Cup uh, match. Um, but um, it's a big tournament, so um, obviously, it's it's huge for me to be in the in the eleven anytime I can. And um, when we step on the field, we together as a group um, want to make sure that we get the job done. So um, yeah, 